Hello, wonderful person. It's the Camel GT on iRacing. Today at Sebring International Raceway, I am Spear. And as you can see, we've qualified 16th today in the GTPs. Uh, there are 20 GTPs, 23 um, Audis, and we're in second split. So let's uh, get to the grid, and then we'll take that uh, full pace lap. So let's hope everything's working out as intended. It should be. Things should be working. Did a few practice laps to make sure everything was going. Let's hope so. 16 out of 20. Uh, key here is going to be, oh, as I always say, it's safety. Man, look how big the car looks right in front of me. It's, it's just taking a full screen. Can't see anything. Oh. B16, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. We've got fuel. Things are. Um... <sighs> follow car number 20 in the okay. right lane. Uh, yeah, we'll follow car number 20. Now we're here. We're here with Macintosh, Sarah, Ben. Ben has also invited some of his uh, his other teams uh, members uh, to be here. So there's like uh, five or six people I know in this race. We need to catch up to car number 20. Well, turn one is gonna be uh, is gonna be uh, crazy. We're gonna be on the outside where I don't want to be, which means anything happens on the inside, they're gonna come flying out into me and push me into the wall. Let's knock on wood. Hope that's not the case. Let's be especially careful that orange car at the start. Jump to car number 20. What happened? Uh, wait a second. There seem to be a few less Audis on the grid than they're supposed to be. There's supposed to be 20. There appears to be 18. Which is, which is uh, I guess, good. But if there's one less, uh, two less guys, we need to catch car Plus number 20. Play. In which case, that's not going to be good for anybody. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gone. So there's one guy behind me, number 42. Yikes. I'm going by my own motto watch out for nutters and people with car numbers higher than me. Although lately we've taken such a beating where I have to watch out for car numbers in front of me as well because my car number has Catch up to car number 20. But again, I'm, I would love to finish this with a clean car. I know that's the kiss of death to keep saying it, but that's the plan. Let's see what happens. See if it can happen. Maybe it can. Maybe it can't. <laughs> but be prepared for the unexpected. Spear. Catch up to car number 20. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be scary driving with the GTPs. Scary past the GTOs. Those two on the left are... Um, doesn't appear they qualified, but yet they want to uh, be super aggressive. If anything gets boring, we've got pizza and beer behind our pit box. That's a new one I haven't seen before. All right, let's get ready to go. We're not going. I thought we'd be going. Go, go, go. We waited for green. Okay, 
people on the back row are getting eager, so we let them go. Step number one. <laughs> the other guy on the back row is content just to hang out, so we're fine with that. Back row guys who are eager to go, stay away from them. That's tip number one. Watch it move up and probably finish the top five. Makes Peter eat his words, but uh, better safe than sorry. Oh. Yeah, me and Jeff okay, have a right idea. Oh, Sokar already off. Jeff and I are like, uh, we'll just uh, sit back There's and see an what happens. There's an incident in the hairpin. It looks like it's Macintosh. That car looked um, beat up. Bad. So maybe we'll take a look at that at the, uh, after the race, if I remember. But that car looked uh, like it had no front end at all. Sure. No, nope. oh, there's an uh -oh. incident here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think it might be Jonathan. Jonathan who? Oh, incident here. Frangio Chicane. It looks like Macintosh. Macintosh is still driving. You can't drive that car. That car looked destroyed. That is a, a too well. I don't know what too much damage we're done is anymore because I don't know. I see people got destroyed and they were able to repair the car, so they've changed the rules on iRacing to make more repairs possible. All right, so the cars in front are going are slowing down. I think I'm actually. Faster than somebody, but somebody up there is slowing everybody down. Oh, there's a car five ahead. It looks like he's got a train behind him, which is letting number 42 catch up behind me. Summers is now in position. Oh boy! Six. On your right, play right. I was not expecting that uh, Audi there. Where did that guy okay, come from? Okay, Tiger. The next car he's is P5. Smith. What? Unless he caught the GTP behind me. Hold him off. All right. I was not expecting an Audi to be there. They got nothing from the spotter. Incident in Go. the hairpin. You think it might be Summers? What's going on? Every time we get down the hairpin, somebody's off. But that's that's not talking about safety. I just wanted to uh, start out safe, get a rhythm. A lot of my races recently it seems like my lap one has been a disaster. We got a new season here, season uh, summers. Season now two. in position eight. Eight. What? Just done a the there might be broken. Tanked. Summers has just done a 152.9. Gap behind. Got a little gap ahead. Let's uh, make some hay. Summers is now in position eight. You no, know, I was watching other people do this race, and it seemed like the sun was a lot lower on the horizon than at the start of the race. It was much more in our eyes, but I didn't see it at all. Didn't really seem to affect things. This is an early morning race. The gap behind is now 3.1 seconds.
Summers is now in position seven. That right, that's really oh! Whoa! Oh. Rodin is leading the race. The fastest lap for Rodin, 144.5. <laughs> wow. See, uh, I, I, that's what I mean. I, I gotta be prepared for for stuff. Don't just, uh, don't just, uh. Summers has just done a 146. Oh, that's Sarah. She must, have hit, she must have hit that guy when he uh, spun in front of her. That lap time was 149.3. Good lap. That's your best in the session. bit too much there. Okay, Tiger, you're reeling. Smith in. The gap is 2.1. Let's slow into Christensen. Ooh. I'm racing in a uh, heavy sweater. A couple pairs of pants. Gloves, of course, a scarf on. It's um, chilly. You saw my last race in the Lotus 79. You know, my heater is uh, not being friendly. That was a poor turn there. I really could have caught up with uh, the car ahead if I had uh, taken that a little better. That's all right. We got that on the relative. But he's pretty far up there. So it's so. just posted up 146.2. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be as if Ben stops. So Ben's pulling away. And probably Dan is also gonna pull away. So let's see if we can get this. Quickest lap. Let's see if we can get this guy in front of us. We might need some GTO help. Slow him down. Although when we hit the GTO is what that's gonna be. Be um, the test of the metals. I'll be driving around, driving around by myself. That's fun. It's the crazy track that. Uh, that's it. You're reeling, Smith. In the gap is now 1.5. It in a little bit on Smith, but I think we're, I mean, as you can see, we're basically at the same speed, so it's just going to be traffic that determines what happens between us. Yeah, who gets the traffic in a good spot, who gets the traffic in a bad spot. There's an incident in Sunset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Body's in Sunset. Watch out, and he's just sitting there. He's not towing, he's going to try to drive to the pole. Okay, he's got going again. He's driving in the pits, okay. Yeah, he, 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 you know, when you crash in sunset, you hope just to drive to the pits, get some repair, and get back out there. So. You've just done sure how quickly he's going to get Coming up on a slower class car. How fast you get to the uh, pits. an incident in the hairpin. Uh oh, not again. It's always the hairpin. There's an incident in Fangio Chicane. Yeah, I saw smoke there. 
I guess people get wrecked in the uh, hairpin and try to keep on driving, and then they're like, nope, gotta get off and walk. All right, GTOs are coming. Summers is now in position seven. So let's see what happens. Yeah, Brent's getting away from me. Oh, uh, he's gonna get past him on the street, and I'm not. Slower class car ahead. He got past both of them. Oh, come on. Car left. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. We're approaching a group of slower cars. Oh, boy! Incident in Christensen. The answer, Smith, ahead is increasing. It's now 3.8. Yeah, he's really stretching out because of that. Left side, clear left. The gap behind has now decreased to 3.9. There's an incident in Cunningham. It looks like it's Reed. I don't know who Reed is. What if I get them to sit there? I do want them to say some names. I, I mean, I know a lot of people in this race. You're coming up on a slower car. But I also want them to say what class it was. There's, There's an, an incident in off, the you know? An incident doesn't, man, it kind of helps me that someone's off the track, but I'd also love to know who and why. Oh, man, come on. On your left. Clear left. Yeah, Smith is getting through traffic a lot better than I am. Summers, he's now That's in right. position seven. Don't push it, Spear. Don't push it. Just do what you can do. I don't want to try to do too much and then wind up in a big trouble. Jesus. Wow. See, that's, that's what I want to be ready for. That's that kind of stuff. Where he was purposely slowing down to let me pass. It was... If I would just a bit too close behind him and not wait for something, it could have really been bad. Oh, Jeff is really catching up behind. He's half. Oh, no. Oh, Jeff's off behind. Okay. As soon as I said he was going to talk, watch out. Went off. In the hairpin. Slower class car ahead. Okay. So behind should be okay. In front is a. Uh, Scared. Oh, it's Macintosh. Back out. Excellent. Wasn't too much damage. Got a new nose. Got back out there. Oh, I don't think I can make it. I, I'm not going to try. I've seen people who, who, who made it through there. Um, yeah, I can't do it. I don't know why I just don't have the pop, the, the speed, the acceleration to, uh, I'm not getting a good enough jump off the final corner, or that, that one corner, Smith to get, um, increasing. It's now. Left side, clear to left. get through there, I can't, I can't do it. Slower class car ahead. So I'm just going to play it safe. Right side. Holy mackerel. Hold your line. Clear right. I didn't know they thought he's been that slowly through there. Yeah, we've really lost Smith now. We got... He's been flying away while I had to hold up twice. But yeah, I tried... In practice, I tried getting up from 
that one right hander to the uh Oh. No. no, I've lost it. Uh, no, this is really bad. Nah, a lot of these cards are going to take me down. Now in position, seven. Yep, here comes all these Audis. All these Audis that I overtook. It's really bad, and I lost the position. Oh, I wanted to avoid the 1x, so I wound up getting two. Because I, I turned the wheel so hard to avoid 1x. On your left. Clear left. Coming up on a slower class car. That's alright. No damage done. Cars in one piece. Lost the position, lost a heck of a lot of time. But that's all right. Summers is now in position six. It wasn't this where I was last time. Oh, holy mackerel. On your right, clear right. <laughs> I was not expecting that. No, I think it was the car ahead that I was behind last time. Side. Stay right. I don't know what these audience are doing, but so it's so it's really in slow to stay on six. the inside instead of uh, really pushing it to take the outside. I would push it more to take the outside. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Oh, that's Kristen. You might know him on Twitch. Grumpy 99. No harm done. Alright, so at one point, I was well ahead of you. I oh, am well behind you. Summers is now in position 6. Yeah, see, I... Uh, no, this traffic. This traffic is the... Uh, is my problem. Well, <laughs> If you've watched enough of these races, you know I've got uh, a couple problems, but traffic is a major one. Either I'm too safe or not safe enough. I gotta, I gotta find a, a medium. You know, how do I be aggressive when I can and still careful when I need to be? I saw something off to the right there. I don't know. Got yeah, two GTPs behind me. One of them, number 14, he, he qualified really well. I don't know what he's doing back there. He had connection issues with qualifying. I don't know if that was a problem or what, but he, he, he should be much faster than me. We're approaching so. a group of slower cars. The gap in front is now 9.6. All right, play right. Oh man! Oh, All right, play right. That guy was uh, coming to the inside, whether I wanted him to or not. Yeah. So that's the thing. The Audis naturally drift out to the outside, so I thought he could go out more. But I, that's what I want. I want to be able to be prepared for if something. But towards happens. It's still more aggressive, but I I couldn't go much faster there because I was taking that strange angle because I wasn't able to get out to the to the right as I entered the corner. I was it's entering it. In the hat, it looks like Jonathan. Yeah, somebody behind wasn't it? Jonathan, I think, is a GTP. Yeah, we remember here in Jonathan, uh, the first lap. Remember up here, number forty-one, I think he was. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, look at the guy behind me. He is. Alright, Tiger, he's come on, stay focused. Up. So Apex he wants to have exits. Uh, Apex is in exits. 20 minutes remaining. We've got 20 minutes left. Halfway home. We've got plenty but of fuel. But that's going to be another position. Dang it. 
halfway already. I mean, the race is flying by. But uh, so I didn't want to lose another set of them. Ian's getting away from me. Well, how is everybody getting away from me? Why that slow in traffic? Am I not supposed to be? Oh. Maybe I am that slow in traffic. Huh? I didn't think I was, but maybe I am. Yeah, 150 is not a fast lap, I guess. Summers is now in position 7. Left side. Clear left. There's an incident in Le Mans. It looks like it's Summers. Oh no, man! Let's have an incident. I don't know what kind of incidents the uh, spotted reports. If they are one X's just putting a wheel off the track, probably not. It would have to be more than that, wouldn't it? Otherwise, they'd be talking all day. Summers is now in position seven. Okay. So I guess it wasn't that bad. He's still up there. Just increased to 2.1. Yeah, that guy's so much faster than me. Okay, Tiger, you're approaching some slower cars. These guys are fighting for position. On your right, clear right. Summers. Right side, clear right. Heard of Summers. Still haven't gone through the GTO field. The gap to Jonathan behind is increasing. It's now 15 seconds. Okay. But, uh. I'm not exactly sure where I started at. Did I start 15th? I know my car number was 15th out of the GTPs. I'm not sure if I started 15th. I should be ahead of Ian. Incidental. I should be Ian. like Summers yeah. is now in position 8. Uh, uh, my goal two. was top 10. It looks like Macintosh. Oh, my, like, like, oh course, Macintosh. I saw him over there. Bit I made is uh, has been really costly. You wouldn't uh, feel like it at the time, but I just haven't been able to. All right, Tiger, you've used half your fuel. Get back on it. For whatever reason. Oh, there are curves. Maybe I damaged the other side of the car or something. No, I don't think so. 148. Yeah, but I've got a lot less fuel now. I should probably be going a lot faster than that. But I'm satisfied with that time. I mean, I'm not unhappy with it. Slower class car ahead. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Jim. Uh oh, this is perhaps a bad idea. He's letting me go by. On your left. Clear left. Summers is now in position. He'll let me go by. He really minutes should slow down from the straight if he wanted to let me go by. Because it's. I'm not going in. No one would go into that corner. 
too wide. Unless you're a totally apt. Can I get Ian back? Remember I was ahead of Ian at one time. You will recall. Coming up on a slower class car. Car left. Clear left. Summers is now in position five. Oh man! That's waking waves. Oh man, that's puffy. All right, clear right. The gap in front is now 5.6 seconds. Much faster than Ian earlier in the race, but it's as an incident in sunset. You think it might be Jonathan? Oh, but he's gotten faster, and I've not been able to coming up on a slower car. Get back to him. Pick a lane, Walter. There you go. On your left, clear left. Happy enough to GTOs go on the left or the right. It's when they move from left to right or vice versa. Summers is problem. now in position for five. That's doing really well. Ben and I have not the same practice times, but practice. Boy, he can turn it on in the race. Uh, if you want to catch Ben, Ben Summers, 1971, remember, he's in all of these races, you should know that by now, I already stuck to him. He's gonna let me go, huh, Spotter, you think that's the case? That could be the case. I'm scared to find out, though. Summers I'm really scared to find out. I am really scared to find out. Yeah, he is, but... I didn't think you would like that. I got it. I got to get this guy here. Left side. Clear left. Know, sometimes I would stay behind the audience there to not risk it, but I, I gotta catch up to you. I gotta move. No, oh, this is gonna be difficult. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. Okay, oh, target. super difficult. They're too wide. The front. The gap's now 1.9. Right side. There's an incident in Gen Debian. Clear right. Car left. Clear left. And he came right over into me, and I was ready for it. So that's what I said I would be. I said I would be ready for it. Those two weren't racing, by the way. They're racing no one. They're in, oh wait, they were ninth and fifteen. Ninth and fifteen. Come on, guys. You're not racing each other. Get out of the way. Dang, you got the guy before the sunset. Oh, so we need to stay behind him. Oh! I pulled up into the fence. I was going to go inside him. All right, Ian. I'm coming for you. I don't know how much time is left or how many laps, but... We're got ten minutes left. Ten, ten minutes. minutes to go. Thank you, Jim. That was helpful timing. Oh, man. 
man, that's it. I could have been really up there after that spin. Well, actually, pretty much every race, anybody can really say that. I mean, the, the incidents are what uh, cause big problems, aren't it? You have a clean race, don't get in trouble. They're likely gonna do not too shabby. But uh, like I'm saying, I was prepared for that guy to cut me off. Jets. Uh, I mean, I was trying to be prepared for things to go. You know, I'm not just going to go full blast up the corner hoping that it uh, that I survive. I was prepared and ready so much, if he didn't give me the space. Five. And he didn't give me the space, so. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Slows down early into turn one. The gap ahead is now 0.8. Oh, am I going to get left? Summers is now in position four. We're gonna get some bodies. There they are. Four! Ah. Alright, focus, Spear. You and Ian get the audience. Oh no, 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 Spear! Spear, you dummy! Spear, you big dummy! That was a car behind, but he was a lap behind. Spear, you dummy! Head on to it. Hey, we're a little wonky. Ah, I lost 10 seconds there. I'm going to get laps. Spear, you donkey. What was that, Thunderfoot? Probably. Well, it was good while it lasted. Summers is now in position for. That looks good. Keep thinking about that. Top five. Noise. But I have no chance to get me in now unless he uh, totally messes up and uh, pulls the spear. Twice I've gone off by myself. Which, actually, I'm not too disappointed with. Well, I am disappointed. But at least I haven't hit any other cars. <laughs> we made some passes. We made some moves. Some close moves. Big corners. Some rather aggressive ones. Mostly not, but some rather aggressive ones. So, yeah, well, 11th. I don't know where I am. P12 is right ahead of me, so that's a lap ahead, so. Not gonna get caught from behind, but, uh,. Top 10. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 12. I need a seconds. miracle and a freebie at this point. Car seems okay. Yeah, I mean, I might be slow. Ah, don't say it. Coming up on a slower class car. The leader's got me. Coming right up on me. I don't know if he'll get, like uh, I don't know if he'll get, um... Okay, Tiger. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Yeah. That might be the only one down a lap. Well, the last one. First one down a lap. What do they say? First one, last one? I don't know what they say. Car right. Clear right. 
There's a group of slower cars ahead. They are battered. These GTOs are shell shocked. On your right. Play right. I thought about taking this guy in turn two, but what's the point? We're on the last laps. Right side. Stay right. Blue flag. Blue flag! Oh, there's another guy. Well, he's really caught up quickly. Eight seconds. I was kind of dawdling behind those uh, GTOs. We're not going quickly at all. They, Summers they were very is now deep. in position for blue flag. Car right, clear right. Whoop. We've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now if... Uh, if you get close to 20, 30 seconds on it. That's how much time you lose if you're hanging up behind GTOs and letting the leaders by. You lose a lot of time. Uh, you don't have to, but I'm just kind of playing around. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. We will not lose this place, Jim, but I admire your um, eagerness to motivate me. straight 154s. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I did dawdle. I dawdled all through here, didn't I? Okay. It wasn't as fun that first time. Everything would have been different. I wouldn't have had to push so much. It made me spin the second time. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Blue flag. Well, we got Ben Summers, P5. Even though the spotter keeps saying P4. Don't, don't ever listen to the spotter. It's always a position off. Always, even at the start. Uh, I can't fix it, nothing I can do. Hey, what a day, what? How'd I get to P10? What? I don't know what happened. I don't know who came off. I didn't see anybody. I wouldn't tell you through that. I haven't really noticed those guys so that were ahead. way up ahead of me. <laughs> if you're not on the relative, you're not, um, you're not, uh, being, uh, white flag, one more lap. You're not, you're not on my radar. Sorry. Car right. I think Clear that guy right. was trying to pull over for me. And uh, I was kind of just hanging out behind him. Yeah, see, he's not fighting anybody. He's got 10 seconds on either side. I'm not fighting anybody. We're just kind of, okay, no, you first. No, you, you first. We're just here to finish out this final lap and uh, take our positions. All right, P10. P10 out of 20, that is the top half, that is what we call a success. And again, I'm going to say this was a success. 
My plan was to race with some cars, make some overtakes, some aggressive overtakes when necessary, some prudent overtakes when not, where, when, when appropriate. And uh, I did make two mistakes. Two mistakes that I'm paying for dearly. Could I have been P8? P8 is 15 seconds ahead of Ian Bassey, and I had 15 seconds on Ian Bassey in the first spin, I think. Before I spun. Nah, maybe I didn't have 15 seconds, so I could have been P9. But, you know, it's my own bumper spin. I think P2 has gone off in sunset. Well, the race is over, dude. Summers is now in position for. I don't believe that story, Jim. I think P3 has binned it in turn one. There's the checkered flag. Thank you, Mark. P10. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. Well, he got my position right. Somehow. Alright. Well, I've already done the recap. Usually I take the warm up, warm down, cool down, warm down, cool down lap two. You know, I'm really glad I wore this sweater and this scarf. But, uh, it's so cold here. You know, I, I had a huge heating problem the other day. We're in Ben Summers B5 behind. Very nice Ben. Uh, I had this huge heating problem. My house got up to 85 on, uh, what was that, Tuesday or Wednesday, and it just wouldn't turn off. It wouldn't turn off! No matter what I did, so I had to go to the circuit breaker and turn it off. Uh, it gets down to 60 inside because it's it's below freezing outside, so it's down to 60 by now. Oh my god! So, we're gonna work on. Uh, there's nothing I can do. About. I don't know anything about each track. Well, I don't know enough about each track. I mean, you need that's the thing now, nowadays with everything. You need computers to diagnose what's wrong with your system. And that's why people can't really fix things anymore. They really need computers to do a specialized computer. I mean, if you're going to spend the money on the specialized computer, you might as well just spend the money to fix, get somebody to fix something. <laughs> you know, you spend the money to use a computer once, and, you know, and that's not a good use of your money and time. It was something you were going to do all the time. I mean, if you were going to, you had several cars, like cars, if you had several cars to fix all the time, a computer system diagnostic thing might actually do really well and well some of those things you can just go to the like the auto zone or pet boys or whatever and uh the pit lane speed limit is 45 miles That's per hour fine. box in 290 oh. meters well there you go my own fault for those two spins but other than that a pretty good race um I'm happy I've made some 100 meters. close passes. I'm happy uh, when everything turned out. 50 meters. Uh, and, and there's nothing really to show on my rate, on my accidents, because it was just um, silliness on my part. Oh, wait a second. What? Oh, that's where I hit the... Uh, look at that. Look at that. Over that right front. Your left. Yeah, when I hit the wall. Crushed the lobster claw there. I was looking for new uh, suits. If you got any ideas for new suits, let me know. Let's uh, see what happened to Macintosh on lap one. I remember seeing uh, him at the hairpin. Where is Macintosh's number? Okay, oh. I remember seeing him at the hairpin. Oh, not that. Seeing him at the hairpin. I heard Matt in front of him in the lavender car. Is that lavender? What you call it? It's so easy to get punted from behind here on this corner. So I do far chase. Oh, Macintosh is going to be. The, oh, wait. What? I saw Macintosh there. Oh! Yeah, Macintosh's car is destroyed. Look at that net code. They didn't make contact. The car is destroyed. Look at that. They didn't make contact. And Macintosh gets... See? Look at that. Left him plenty of room. Plenty of room. And the guy just... This car is destroyed. That, that, 
Dang, that's unfortunate. And then this guy blew it down here. I remember I passed him here. Uh, not here, but the next right. Oh! Oh! He got hit from behind, but that also appeared to possibly be... They didn't actually touch. Yeah, see, they didn't actually touch there, I don't think. Nope, they didn't actually touch. They didn't actually touch, but if you look, his car shakes. And if your car shakes right as you, right there, you try to make a turn. You're trying to make a turn and brake, and for some reason your car is shaking. No, that's not going to help. That's not going to work. So he's just got to sit there. There I go. See, so. So, where's this guy from? Is he from somewhere far away? Georgia, no. So I don't, I don't know why um, there was all that netcode at the start. I guess that's netcode. Do people call it net, people call it netcode even if it isn't netcode? But that's unfortunate that a lot of races were uh, a lot of things happened this race that were uh, stuff like that where they didn't actually make contact. But you know, it, in the milliseconds it takes from your computer to send information to iRacing's computer and their computer to send information to iRacing computer and then their iRacing computer to send it back to you in those milliseconds things happened and well they couldn't uh, couldn't fix it but there you go p10 for spear and there's uh 11 cars ahead of the audience i think he must have left at the end there bc bought thomas burling is uh ben's friend there mcintosh Back in there. Unfortunate. Christer, you saw him spin. Oh, he must have got killed later. Sarah down. Oh, Sarah did a very bad race. Unfortunate. All our all our guys are back there. Who's in front? Look at Ben. Ben P5. Acid Ben. Well done. Let's take a look at that car. I think he said he did a little painting on it. The front used to be black, and now the front is a. Uh, oh! Oh, what is time to. Oh, Ben. Well done. Look at that. He got, he got punted up the backside. What a time to cut the bend. Uh, he still finishes P5. And the spin is perfect, right? There he goes. I'm going again. Oh, that must have been one of the stops of this incident. It's Summers. So that wasn't too shabby. Look at his wing is still perfect shape, too. Well done, Ben. <laughs> Great race for Ben today. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, the Spear with Camel GT. This is this series is so much fun. If you have either of these cars, you need to get in these races. If you don't have either of these cars, you need to get them. Either one. They're, they're, everybody says they're both excellent. You can go to CamelGT.com. That's K-A-M-E-L. GT.com. That'll tell you race times. They have some setups, some videos there, and other kinds of things. But really, it's a it's a pretty welcoming community. And, uh, you know, these races, these huge races, 55 car grids. Uh, it's so much fun. So exciting with the multi class. So, all right. Join me next time. Thanks for watching. This is Spear with iRacing. Hit that sub button. Woohoo! See you next time.